Hello, this is Pastor Gene Kim from San Jose Bible Baptist Church. So the title of this video might make my enemies happy and some, or hopefully most of my viewers, unhappy. However, it's going to have the opposite effect, which I hope that if not some, but most of my viewers will be very happy and all of my enemies unhappy. So yes, I decided to quit. Now, the reason why I decided to quit is before you start to make conclusions is what the Bible says. So let me read what the Bible says right here first, and then I'll explain my situation a little more. So I'm going to first describe the struggles and the difficulties I went through first. And then after that, I'm going to read a Bible verse, and then I'm going to give my explanation. So as you might all know that especially the people in my church how busy I have been and only the people who are uh, somewhat more close to me know exactly what I've been going through. And so I've been working very hard, living life, trying to make ends meet and then trying to handle the ministry, the internet and a lot of other things and even personal situations in life that I cannot say. However, the Lord, he has shown me through all these difficulties more and more love for other people and also a greater desire to glorify his name in the ministry. So through it all, despite of what the devil has thrown against this ministry and against our church and to the people online, I'm sure how the devil has attacked you, I hope what I'm going to say to you will encourage you immensely. Now, for me in my life, when there were times that the devil may have tempted you, or let me explain in my case, has tempted me on quitting or, you know, taking it easy, slowing it down, or to compromise things here and there. And, you know, there are some people online who opposed you about this and this and this, and you can relent to them on that. What has helped me immensely is what the Lord gave me these two things. Now, I've heard this from one great Bible-believing preacher, Dr. Peter S. Ruckman, and it became a very influential and helpful thought to me. He always said that what kept him going was the grace of God and the prayer of the saints. I found that more true than ever before. And for those of you who watch me online, especially the people in my church, you know how many times I often said that. What has kept me going was undoubtedly the grace of God. There were so many times in my life I felt like that things would fall apart and I wouldn't know what to do, how to manage my health, financial, personal, family, and other situations in life, especially church things and internet-related issues. How that God has pulled me through somehow by His grace. Send in a slip in the money all of a sudden over there. Suddenly, he would uh, answer the prayer where I least expected it, and he would also send some person in the church who would encourage me where I least expected it. It was the grace of God. Another thing where the Lord has definitely helped in my life was the prayers of the saints. Had it not been for your prayers, I would not know where I would be today. Thank you so much. So I want to let everyone know that every subscriber online, every soul that got saved, every person that came to our church, and every dime that we use to help some minister out there, it is because of your prayers. So I want to let you all know you definitely contributed a part to that. So I want to thank you so much for that. So when there are times where the devil has made me had and has entertained me with thoughts about running away or stuff like that, you know what always kept me in mind? The Lord would say, How selfish is it, Gene? You would do something that would finally make you feel good. And then what about those other people? How would they feel? See, quitting and running away wouldn't make myself feel good. And then it would be selfish of me not to think about how other people feel. Now, I know what you're feeling like when you're like at the point of quitting or giving up hope. Perhaps some of you mothers are about to give up on your son or your daughter. Perhaps some of you pastors feel like throwing in the towel and quitting. Perhaps some of you Christians who are all by yourselves out there feel like, What's the point of passing out tracts, witnessing to my family members, sharing stuff online, or even this video channel, BBC International? What's the point of spreading that to other people? And you feel like quitting, giving up on God. Some of you are thinking about going back to the world. Some of you are thinking about changing religions and doing whatever things 
that you can do to make you finally feel good. But see, the thing is, is that you have to tell yourself this, is that don't be selfish about yourself. And that's what I tell myself. What about the other person that you're pulling for, that you're praying for, that you're trying to help out? Those billions who are dropping to hell, those next generations of yours who are going to be deceived by some false religion or higher education schools or cultish, cultic pastors. See, you got to think about others, not you. William Booth, founder of the Salvation Army, once said, others. It's a very important point right there. So that's what helped me immensely to keep on going for the ministry. That's why what I've decided to do is to quit. Now, here's the Bible verse, and I'll explain. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 through 14. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong, let all your things be done with charity. So, you understand this, the King James Bible wording for quit, it means to act like, play. So what I decided to do is to act, play the role of a man in not quitting the ministry, not giving up, but holding the fort and being strong. That's what the King James Bible wording means for quit. Quit you like men. It means to act, play the part. So, <laughs> it, what I decide to do is to quit like a man and to keep going the ministry and to serve God, pass out tracts, try to win soul salvation. And even though people may oppose me, I'm going to keep ministering to those same people out of love. Let all your things be done in charity. So I'm going to quit like a man so that I don't quit the ministry. That's the point of this video. And I hope that you would do the same thing too. You know, there are people who will quit on you even though you pulled all your effort for them. And there were so many times that I did that in my life. I would put out a video that I would think that would help somebody out there, be a blessing to someone out there. And I would try to minister to someone in the church and help them out. But you know what happens at the end is that those people quit on you and it really hurts. Those people backstab you, they get upset at you, they misunderstand you. And I see that all over online and in the church. But you know what? The thing is, is that because I have such great love for people out there, because Jesus showed the same love toward me, showed the same patience toward me when I misunderstood him. When I quit on him many times and gave up on him, the Lord never quit or gave up on me. So I'm going to do the same thing with you people as well. I'm not going to quit or give up on you, even though many of you may have quitted on me and got messed up in some wrong doctrine or misunderstood one of my videos. But you know what? I know this with all my heart, is that the Lord's going to bless a person's love for the person. So if I truly have the right love for you, the Lord's going to bless and honor that, and maybe one day we'll open your eyes to see that. Uh, I want to thank so many of you who have stuck on to this ministry and encouraged me, prayed for me, and kept us going. It's because of that, I cannot quit. And for those of you who did give up and quit on us, we're not going to quit on you. By the grace of God, I decided to quit according to 1 Corinthians chapter 16.